hello the joyful family welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making jollof rice you all this jollof recipe is going to be a hit on your next get together table this video is a cook with me video and it's a little bit lengthy but you'll be glad you watched till the end so let's get started okay guys so these are all the things i'm going to use for this jollof rice this is um, tomato paste i need 500 grams for this recipe and this is 822 grams so i'm going to be using like um, half of this for the jollof rice of course we're going to need um granite oil so this is the granite oil so this seasoning here is the one i'm going to use to parboil the meat here i have two shallots half onion one two three four five garlic this size of um ginger this is um, chicken seasoning this is the kind of chicken seasoning the North Sea chicken seasoning. I have about five teaspoons of that here. This is one teaspoon of curry powder, two teaspoon of clove powder, and one teaspoon of all purpose powder. And this is the meat. I've washed the goat meat. I'm using goat meat. So this is the meat. So this is for the stew. I have 10 garlic cloves there and three thumb sized ginger. For the stew, I have 11 large bell peppers. So what I do is for every four cups of rice, I use two large bell peppers. And I'm working with 18 cups of rice. That's why I'm using 11 bell peppers. And this is the cup I use, the standard measuring cup. So yeah. For the stew also, I have four fresh tomatoes, five large, um, five large red onion, and five shallots. Also have um, three scotch bonnet pepper. So this seasoning right here is going to be for the stew. Here I have 8 teaspoons of white pepper. I have 3 tablespoons of um, smoked paprika, 1 teaspoon of salt, 2 teaspoons of um, all-purpose seasoning, 2 teaspoons of um, curry powder, 5 teaspoons of thyme. I like to be generous with the thyme. And I have um, bay leaves here. I think I have about 8 leaves and 12 seasoning cubes, chicken seasoning cubes. So now we're going to start cooking. Now I'm going to chop up the onions and throw them in the blender. The garlic, sorry, the ginger. And it goes. And the onion. Also throw in the garlic. And a bit of water. Pour it in there. The meat is washed, so. Mm -hmm. I'll rinse it out with a bit of water. So now I'm going to add in the seasoning. This is curry powder, cloves, all purpose seasoning, and chicken seasoning. Oh, I'm supposed to add thyme. I'm sorry. I'm going to add two teaspoons of thyme as well. Two teaspoons of thyme. Did I run out of thyme? No, I have to. Two teaspoons of thyme. So, I'm going to let this cook. I'll add more water, but let it boil first because we need the stock. I love the taste of goat meat stock in jollof rice. It's the absolute best for me. So, so I'll cover it and let it come up. So next I'm going to start slicing this off and blend them. So this is going to take a while. I will take out the seed and then I'll come back and we'll blend it together. So yeah, this is done. I've chopped up the bell peppers, onion, tomatoes, and ginger. So I'm going to blend this. So now I'm going to... Let me just go, get done with everything that has to do with chopping. So I'll chop up this one. This I'm going to fry in the hot oil before I add the tomato puree. So I'll chop this up real quick. And then we we'll start blending. Shallot adds a very um, distinct taste to jollof rice, so if you can find the dry one or the fresh one, whichever one you find is good, so I always like to add it. It's a bit sweeter than the regular onion. So, 
Yep, yep. That's that. So I'll just go ahead and put it in tomatoes so I know everything is set. Fun fact, I learned how to use um, tin tomato opener last week. My husband taught me. <laughs> so yeah. Open this. Um. I'll measure it if you want, but I've been doing this for a while now. I really don't have to measure. I know what 500 grams look like. So yeah. This is 500 grams. <laughs> so I'm going to set that aside and check on the meat. Yo, yo. So I add more water now. This is going to be our stock, so we need water. Okay. You can use any meat you like chicken, beef. Yeah. So. I'll add enough water and I'll taste to make sure it's perfect. Perfect. Because you need to season your meat properly. Remember, this stock is very important for your jollof rice. So, yeah. Cover and let it cook for another 20 minutes. Once you open this, please take it out of the can. Don't leave it in the can. So once I open it and I don't finish it, what I do is I put them in a container and put it in the freezer. Cover this and put it in the freezer. So I'm going to blend this together. Add a bit of water if you have to. Make it easier. Some of, that, some of that into the bowl and reserve some and then that will serve as my next day so I don't need to add water. to repeat the process until I'm done and then I'll be back. Everything is done. And that's it. Nothing to waste here. I'll rinse it out. Rinse it out. So that's it. So the meat is still boiling. Now I'll start frying the tomato sauce. I'll place this on fire. So because I'm using a big pot, I'm going to be using the two burners. So I'll put that there. So yes, the pot is there in the composer. So now I'm going to add oil to the pot. I think it's hot, so. I don't usually calculate the amount of oil I use, honestly, because I really like to fry the tomatoes, so. And for it to be able to, and for you to be able to fry it very well, you need a lot of oil. So, I'll add in some oil. So I'll add in the tomato paste. You can also dissolve this with water if you want, but it's going to fry faster this way. I'm going to keep stirring this on medium heat so it doesn't burn. Just look at how I made a mistake, guys. I totally forgot to fry the onion, the shallot first, but it's fine. Just make sure you fry first before you add the, um, what's it called? Um, tomato paste. I'm 
we're gonna fry everything together. So I'm going to keep frying until it is no longer tangy to the mouth. You will taste it and then the sourness is no longer there. It take a while, but then keep doing it on low heat. Yeah. It doesn't even take that long, maybe 10, 12 minutes. So this is coming along really well. Let me check on the meat. It's cooked. It's a fork and drive through easily, then you know it's cooked. It's cooked. So I'm going to take this down. I need to go and quickly take the meat out of the stock and see the water. So I'll take this down to the lowest and I'll be back. So I'll remove the meat from the stock. You can just pour the stock because I blended all those um, spices on. I don't want it to be too overpowering, so I'm going to seal it. We already have garlic and ginger in the tomato base that we're frying. This little piece is for me. Mm, so good. Set this aside. And Back to this. Thank goodness it's not burning. <laughs> We're almost there. We need to separate from each other. So if you have time, I would say you should fry your goat's meat first or whatever you're using, chicken, beef. Fry first and then use that same oil to fry the tomato base. But you guys, this is my second video I'm filming for today. I'm trying to do everything possible to get done here and just go and mind the kids. The kids are home now, so I'm going to fry the um, the goat meat in another pan. I already have pre-used oil, so I'll use that one. So yes, this is what we're looking for. It's done. Perfect. So now I'm going to pour in the blended um, bell peppers and onion and the tomatoes. Mm. No wasting, no wasting, no wasting. So pour everything in. And then we're going to cook this down for like 35 minutes. So yes, to cover it and let it do its thing for another 35 minutes. So the meat is ready. Whoa, it was even beginning to burn. So it's fine. Yes, do you want? Do you want to take one? Take one, take one, my people. <laughs> be careful with this oil, oh, no, be missing you. <laughs> Just be careful. On the stew. I'm going to take it down to the lowest. It's beginning to splatter. So I'll check on this too. So at this point I'll add in the seasonings and everything. The bay leaf goes in first. Seasoning fields. The thyme, the curry, all purple seasoning, salt, white pepper, and paprika. Everything goes in. So I'm stir. So at this point, I'll turn my heat to the lowest. All right, I'll let it 
simmer for another 15 minutes. The seasoning is perfect. So, so now I'm going to wash the rice. Some salt. And I'm going to keep washing this until the water runs clear. I'll check on the sauce. Wow, nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. So now, mm, perfect. So now adding the washed rice. Oh, the water does not go in because we have stock. So I have to sieve it. So now, stir everything together. You know what? I just made a very big mistake. <laughs> I wanted to take away some of the sauce so that I'll add it in later, but it's fine. So now I'm going to add in some of the meat stock. I'm adding a little at a time because I don't want it to be too much. very rich and delicious the aroma here right now mm, 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 mm. so the water is just slightly above the rice this is what you want so cover and let it cook on very low heat and we'll be back so this is like um, 20 minutes later um, Everything is looking perfect. Color perfect. Taste check. So um I don't think I'm going to add any more water. Alright. So now I'm going to cover it with foil paper for, for the steam to complete the cooking. So I'll cover it up. Okay, it has been um, steaming for like 20 minutes now. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Mm. Perfect, guys. All right, so at this point, I'll add in the, I chopped up one tomato, I sliced up one tomatoes and half onion. I'll put that in. I'll also add in butter for a bit of shine at this point. So I'm going to just cut them up and throw them in. And yes, so uh, yes, so yes, so eh, boom, boom, boom. 
Yes, so. Yes, so. Yes, so. Eh. This is the music you'll be playing. You'll be playing in the background when you are hosting your friends for a get together. <laughs> in fact, just looking at the color of this rice alone, I'm full. Ooh, it's so good. So I've reduced it to the lowest. It's been in the lowest anyway. So I'm going, I'm going to cover it and let that butter melt in. And then I'll be back in another two minutes. Yep. It's two minutes already. So look at that. So stir. You can see the shine already. And that's it, that's how you cook your jollof rice for your guests. <laughs> so now let's taste it. Mmm, perfect. Oh my goodness. And I didn't even finish the stock, you see. I still have some stock left. This is perfect. So thank you so much for watching till this point. If you watch till this point and you're not yet subscribed, why not join the family? Click on the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, that way you'll be the first to know anytime I upload a new video. And so you don't miss out on any of these delicious recipes, okay? I'll see you guys in my next video. God bless you guys. Bye.